Are you living in Nazi Germany? What were you driving at there? What are you trying to tell them? I think it was uh, disgraceful, disgraceful that the intelligence agencies allowed any information that turned out to be so false and fake out. I think it's a disgrace. And I say that, and I say that. And that's something that Nazi Germany would have done and did do. I think it's a disgrace. That information that was false and fake and never happened got released to the public. As far as BuzzFeed, which is a failing pile of garbage, writing it, I think they're going to suffer the consequences. They already are. And as far as CNN going out of their way to build it up, and by the way, we just found out I was coming down, Michael Cohn, I was being, Michael Cohn is a very talented lawyer, he's a good lawyer in my firm. It was just reported that it wasn't this Michael Cohn they were talking about. So all night long, it's Michael Cohn. I said, I want to see your passport. He brings his passport to my office. I say, hey, wait a minute, he didn't leave the country. He wasn't out of the country. They had Michael Cohn of the Trump Organization was in Prague. It turned out to be a different Michael Cohn. It's a disgrace what took place. It's a disgrace. And I think they ought to apologize to start with Michael Cohn. Go ahead. Go ahead. Since you're, no, Mr. President-elect, Mr. President-elect, since you are attacking no, our news organization, you, can you give us a chance? You're, you are attacking our news organization. President can you give us a chance to ask a question, sir? Sir, can you state, can, Mr. President-elect, can you state categorically, Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorically? You are fake news. Sir, Go ahead. can you state categorically that nobody... No, Mr. President-elect, that's not Go appropriate. Ahead. Do you think President Obama went too far with the sanctions he put on Russia after that?